Hey everybody and welcome to the Daily Scopes, 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 Scopes for the 25th of January. Okay, so on the 25th of January, Mars makes a square to Chiron, there's a full moon, the moon void of course also starts, so this can give us a sense of self-empowerment when uh, Mars makes a square to Chiron, it gives us that energy to face things and our fears um, head on and uh, we can use this to really, really address unresolved trauma as childhood ones, early adult ones, especially to do with our self belief, our sex drive, sexual expression, sexual wounds, our wounds of abandonment and self rejection and heartbreak as well. This energy infuses us with the courage and determination to take bold actions in the areas where we have felt the most wounded, vulnerable, and powerless. It gives us a chance to become empowered and face our challenges and overcome obstacles. We may find ourselves speaking up for ourselves in a difficult situation or taking steps towards pursuing our passions or letting go of our past or saying goodbye or just telling our family and friends what we really think and this can lead to a separation in their relationships and stuff but ultimately it can break us free from the chains that hold us back from being who we really want to be as well. But also asking ourselves are these people really holding us back because sometimes we can use people in situations of an excuse. Sometimes we can self-sabotage, we can be scared of our success. I've been there. It is scary, it's out of our comfort zone. If we really put 100% in and we'd fail, then that could be worse than just putting 50% in and failing. So just get real and honest about yourself so you can really become who you really want to be this year and over the coming years as well. So although it can bring up intensity and conflict as it stirs up unresolved wounds and we can find ourselves in heated arguments especially ones that trigger our insecurities or we can trigger insecurities in others this can cause emotional trauma and lead to a period where we need some time out and to emotionally process and stuff and we may experience mood swings and others may experience mood swings and take it out on us or we may take it out on them so the best use of this energy is to have compassion try and take time out try not to be aggressive use therapy journaling affirmations screaming yelling listening to music letting the rage out safely and in a productive way confronting whatever it is you need to confront and taking bold actions and to just be more open to self-love and respect and awareness and emotional regulation although it can be hard at this time remember that vulnerability is not a weakness but it is a strength by embracing our vulnerabilities and addressing our past wounds we give ourselves the chance to grow and this is really truth although it's scary and it hurts and it can take longer than what we expect committing to your lifelong self-growth can help you find the resilience and inner strength and there's so much new things about yourself qualities you never knew that you had uh, because they were got in the way of developing like are you are you really who you are or who you have been told to be or have become because of your unhealed past so just take time out to really reflect on your triggers insecurities and unresolved trauma and uh, think about what are the underlying beliefs and patterns that contribute to your negative emotions and self-destructive thoughts and behaviors and addictions and although it can be scary by committing to a day-to-day practice of gaining a deeper understanding of yourself you can begin to transform the deep-rooted wounds within yourself and uh, just remember to be gentle with yourself at this time seek out help if need be and just you know work on self-love and acceptance and forgiveness and uh, nurturing right now of yourself and others content creators can talk about how we can bring more self-love into our life how we can deal with our vulnerabilities and childhood wounds and traumas and transform them into inner strengths rather than things that keep on making us self-sabotage ourselves and the best life that we could be having for ourselves talking about other people who have overcome their adversity their fears of rejection or their actual trauma and how to turn their scars into badges of sort of like achievement and you know how to use self-development and stuff to heal their lives talking about different healing techniques that can help us improve our emotional spiritual and physical well-being as well how we can become more assertive how we can stand up for ourselves 
how we can respect other people's boundaries while asserting our own and how we can just be more effective in our communication be respectful of other people's trauma and how we may trigger them in our behaviours and how we can, you know, not change ourselves completely but at least respect them and be aware of how they are and respect their wounds as well. Treat others how we wish to be treated, how we can do that. Giving strategies on how we can step out of our comfort zone, how we can get back up after setbacks and how we can be more fearless, brave and how we pursue life and stuff how we can just be more kind of self-loving and accepting of ourselves and others and how we can just be more open-hearted and seek resolution within ourselves and others rather than continuing the generational dysfunction that we're all our victims of so yeah that's the daily scope 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 for the 25th of january